Adam let's go save our planet Earth together. Dear Adam. You have a big role in caring for our planet because we need to preserve it for future generations, including your children and your grandchildren. Best regards. Mother Nature. Earth is a fragile little dot in the universe. Adam asked a question in his heart. Who should take good care of the world? Poof. An explorer appeared and answered excitedly. Who? Well, it's me and you and everybody else. The explorer smiled, let's go and I will explain. The explorer took Adam's hand and flew off together to see how nature had been impacted by man. Let us go on a mini-adventure to understand our role in protecting Mother Nature. The world is so beautiful. Yet, something is wrong. The sun, clouds, sea and mountains look sad. Why is that? Adam asked. It is for us to find out more, the explorer replied. Our planet Earth is sick with all the things that we have done. Our land is poisoned. The air is thick with smoke and full with fumes. We have not been good to our home. Unless we do something about it, it will get worse in the future. Our planet Earth will not be a place for our children and grandchildren to live in. Let me explain, said the explorer. We produce too much waste which is dumped in landfills and scrapyards. Washing machines, TVs and computers are abandoned. Old cars and tires are stacked like mountains. Food and house waste are left to rot as garbage. The explorer said, people throw too much away instead of trying to reuse. All this wastage is becoming our daily refuse. We need to make more with less so that the earth has less stress. We have been polluting the air by burning fuels such as oil, gas and coal. Greenhouse gases and smog are released daily into our air from our factories, power plants and cars. If we could reduce air pollution, everything will be fresher and nicer and we will end up healthier. How can we change? Take a bike, or share a ride. We can reduce our carbon footprint as a start, said the explorer to Adam. From Amazon to Africa and Asia to America, ancient forests and jungles are being cut with chainsaws and bulldozers. The trees are made into wood and paper for our usage. If we continue to clear trees at such a pace, our forests will soon be gone, said the explorer. Oh no, what can we do? asked Adam. The explorer planted one seed, then two. Plant more trees. Treat them as treasure. That's what we can do. The explorer took Adam to a city where thick pipes released waste into rivers, lakes, seas and oceans. The sewage and waste contain lots of germs that make us sick. Heavy metals, bad chemicals, microplastics and sewage also threaten the water which humans drink. Safe drinking water is a right for everyone, the explorer said. We shouldn't need to rely on bottled water. Next, Adam and the explorer dived into a sea full of garbage such as bags, cups, boxes, and bottles. Turtles and birds often choke on bags which look like jellyfish. Even whales have their stomachs full of plastic. Further away, a ship is seen dumping oil into the sea. The explorer said, we need to take care of our oceans and seas. Let's clean up the beaches as a start so that no garbage can harm the creatures in the sea. In all seven seas and four oceans, large fishing fleets trawl the seas to catch fish large and small. Once, our oceans were full of cod, tuna and trout but many are now overfished and empty. Many turtles, dolphins and whales get trapped in such nets and drown. Adam saw that this simply could not continue. A fix starts with responsible fishing. We should just take what we need from our seas, the explorer said. All around the world, animals are going extinct one by one. Hunting and poaching have taken a large toll. Habitat loss means they are losing their homes too. Tasmanian tigers, great orcs and dodos used to live on our planet. Yet, they are gone due to humans. Adam could see now that this just wasn't fair. As humans continue to progress, we have to learn to share our planet with other animals and plants out there. 
Diversity makes our planet special. Every single plant and animal plays its unique role in the cycle of life. For those we can save, we should study them to preserve and protect as our ecological heritage. Perhaps one fine day, we can bring back those which are extinct with new technology such as cloning. Adam saw something up ahead. Rows and rows of chickens, pigs, cows and sheep were held together in crowded pens, unhappy barns and stuffy coops. They are used to feed us with eggs, milk, burgers and steaks. Animals deserve happy lives even if they have much shorter lives. Our ethics should play a part in how we treat other creatures with respect. We could eat less meat and have more greens and beans. It will be better for the environment too, said the explorer to Adam. Did you know we are facing a serious issue called global warming due to increasing carbon dioxide levels? asked the explorer. Much of our lands are turning into deserts. Global climate change is threatening our way of life. Up, up and away, the explorer and Adam flew to the poles where the polar ice is melting. The ice is needed to allow polar bears, penguins, narwhals and seals to survive in the poles. The more the ice melts, the less places they have to live and the harder it is to find food. Melting ice also increases the sea level. Our cities by the coast could be underwater soon if we don't act now, told the explorer. As humans looked to harness more, we discovered nuclear technology as a source of untapped energy. However, this creates radioactive waste which takes thousands of years to be safe. Some nuclear accidents happened in Chernobyl, Three Mile Island, and Fukushima. These led to risk of cancer, and places became unsafe for years after. We have also used nuclear power as atomic weapons which could destroy the world. The more humans advance in nuclear technology, the more we should learn to use it responsibly, the explorer mentioned. Adam looked around for natural energy. There is so much out there available for free. Wind and hydro energy are much cleaner than fossil energy such as oil, gas and coal. Humans can also generate electricity from the unlimited solar energy coming from the sun. There is less need for fossil fuel in this day and age. It is time to change our energy mix, the explorer explained. Renewable energy doesn't require us to mine, waste or burn. We can use it to power light, heating and cars. I want to talk about recycling, said the explorer. Rubber tires from cars, scrap metal from pipes and cars, soda cans, old phones, even clothes. Everything can be turned into something useful. Let us sort, pack and send into paper, plastics, metals and organic waste to the nearest recycling center we have. I can't wait to start, Adam said to the explorer. Now, it was up to Adam to share on how to treat Mother Earth fair. Let us teach people young and old that the earth is more valuable than all the gold. We should reduce our own footprints by changing our lifestyles. I will cycle to school. Take my own shopping bags to the store. Dry my clothes in the sun. Make a compost bucket for old food. Cut down ways to have the best of moods, said Adam. Okay. What else can I do? Adam asked. We work together. The explorer said proudly. We should spread the message of conservation to every person we know. As more people care about the environment, the more likely they will help preserve it. We have only one home called Earth and it is very fragile. Do you understand whose responsibility it is to take care of our planet now? Asked the explorer. Yes. Everybody including you and I. Said Adam, the clever little boy. Great, let us get started today. We will go out there to clear some trash, said the explorer with a final wink. The end. Adam, check out the other books which could have your name. More books available at www.amazingfables.com. All right.